this video and we're going to take a look at a, a tweak and tool for Windows 10. The Windows Club here has came out with a tool called Windows 10 Tweaker 4 which is used to optimize the uh, computer and also do various other things within Windows like disable task manager, uh, uh, disable startup programs and do all kinds of stuff that you can do within Windows but this tool is basically an all-in-one package and it has a lot of uh, options which you can use so we'll go ahead and we'll download the uh, Windows 10 tweaker this will be a good tool to have if you're uh, wanting to customize your operating system and make it faster or if you want to you know maybe you just want to uh, be able to uh, tweak the computer the way you want it and make it work better and it's also good because it has tools that you can uh, use to fix uh, certain errors on the computer so uh, if you're fixing computers you will enjoy this type of tool so we just downloaded it right now All right, so uh, there it is. That now that's downloaded. Will I uh, take a look here at it? Let's go ahead and run it. So here's what the tool looks like once you get it. So as you can see here, it tells you the uh, operating system you have. It has the specifications about your computer, the RAM and stuff. And the first thing you have is your recovery option. So you can directly access system restore and create a recovery drive option. So uh, very useful if you're trying to create a recovery console on the computer so that you can restore the computer back in case Windows crashes. Over here, you got system file checker which you can scan for uh, corrupted or missing system files and uh, down at the very bottom here we got create a system restore point so again you can always create a system restore point with this now you can do this already in windows but uh, this program you can just use real fast to have that and you can uh, repair windows system image so you can create yourself a backup image or a windows system image or repair a system image that you may have created on a on an external hard drive if you were to back up the entire computer in case the operating system were to crash so these are some very useful recovery tools that you can have at your disposal down here so moving on we're going to go into customization so you can remove the volume icon from the notification area you can remove the network icon from the notification area remove action center icon from the notification area and you can remove the clock and stuff from the notification area and all sorts of stuff and uh, coming down here the, the thumbnail size and that is to, I believe that is to a uh, when you are having pictures on the computer in the thumbnail of the photo you can make you can customize the size of both that or I think that's to do in the taskbar actually we just leave it to what it's at um, I'm not gonna mess around with that but that's if you want to uh, change the size of the icons here down on your taskbar um, you can remove the taskbar buttons if you want remove the taskbar altogether now I don't know why you would want to do that. Moving on, we've got File Explorer. You can enable auto colorization, which you can already do in Windows and stuff. So here's some more various customization tools that you can uh, use. You can delete page file at, at, um, at shutdown. Uh, And uh, the list goes so on. You can disable tool tips for shortcuts and stuff. Now, uh, most of these things are not really what you would want to really do unless you really wanted to uh, modify and restrict things. Coming down here, we're going to take, take a look at Windows 10. And there's loads of other things you can do with this tool. You can uh, get rid of the hibernation option if you want on your start menu. But... Uh, There's pretty much a lot of things you can do and stuff. Um, 
we're going to come down here to performance so in here we have various options uh, wait in time to kill our applications timeouts during shutdown in milliseconds so you can change this to a very low setting so uh and uh this one was really important here is uh wait in time to kill non-responsive applications in milliseconds so if you put this down to the very bottom when a program stops responding on the system it will quickly kill that program for you really fast much faster than by default and you also have some other things you can tweak by a restart shell automatically after some errors and uh, always upload DAOs to free up memory you can have that check so this these some of these options here will be good if you're trying to gain back performance and stuff on your computer mm -hmm. and uh, you have security and privacy you can disable the registry editor if you don't want people to go into your registry disable control panel disable task manager disable command prompt um, Disable user account control, disable all kinds of stuff. So uh, this program is very, very useful for disabling things. Now you can do this in uh, gpedit.msc, but this tool kind of lets you do it every all at once. So uh, going ahead to Internet Explorer, you can enable a menu bar and you can uh, customize all that the way you want it. So basically, these are just customizations. So you can change the home page here for Internet Explorer. It's all kind of stuff that you can do and all kinds of settings that you can change and uh, you can do this within Windows yourself but this is a program that's automatically all in one so you can start doing things and uh, we'll come down to contacts menu but uh, you can see here you can uh, change stuff around but uh, Yeah, and uh, just read along here. This program is mainly used for people that are uh, going to be uh, changing a whole bunch of settings within their Windows computer. And uh, it's not so much for gaining performance on your computer. It's more for uh, customizing your, your computer. You can restrict a lot of things, and you can do a lot of these things within Windows itself. But this program is kind of neat because it's all in one. And uh, I thought I'd make a review in that. Because a uh, very useful program to have if you're trying to customize your operating system. So if you enjoy these videos, please remember to comment, write, and subscribe.